Hey everyone, my name is Adam, or Epos Box, and in this video we're going to be going over what's on my Chromebook, or rather what's on my laptop for a new what's on my tech video. I'm going to be going over a quick overview of what I run on my Chromebook as well as some behind the scenes apps and extensions that I use on the laptop in general and in Chrome in general, and then we'll move on to the desktop later on. Now this is an HP Chromebook, it is the 14 inch model. And this is actually a discontinued model. Um, they, about a month after I got this one, I got it while I was working at Staples, about a month after I purchased this, it actually got discontinued and they came out with a new one that had like double the battery life, but everything else was about the same. It's really kind of frustrating because now I was stuck with this one. However, I've had it for almost a year now and it's been my main driver for going to school and any sort of laptop usage at all or you know, I'm needing a laptop versus a desktop or just a computer in a specific location. And I've been really satisfied with it. The battery lasts a decent amount of time, although it has a lot of trouble holding a charge when it's turned off for long periods of time. It's super thin and lightweight, as you can see here. Boots up instantly, shuts down instantly. I only, I mainly use Google services when I'm on the go, go so it works out for me. So let's see what I have installed on it. Moving over to the Chromebook side of things, obviously it's running Chrome OS. So let's minimize my Chrome window for a moment and take a look at what I have running. Now obviously the most important part is what I have pinned to what's normally the taskbar or the dock. On Chrome OS they call it the shelf. Most of everything you're going to encounter in Chrome OS is going to open within Google Chrome. So for the most part, this is all just Chrome apps, but I have a shortcut for just Google Chrome itself, obviously, which boots up as soon as you turn on the computer. I have a Gmail shortcut because I do close it every now and then, and so having it automatically open is nice. A Google Docs shortcut to open up Google Docs and I can quickly make a new one from there. And then I have a Google Calendar shortcut. Now this computer is my daily driver for school and university. This is my last semester at university and on the go, and so a lot of it's school-based and writing Google Drive, which is gonna take me back to Google Docs. Now you'll notice some redundancy here from like my shelf shortcuts and my bookmark little icons. This is because, well, A, I use Google Chrome with these icons everywhere versus just on Google Chrome. On my Chromebook, it's gonna be different. However, it also makes it easier when I have, say, a video script open and my calendar open and things like that. Instead of having to switch tabs up here if I'm doing something else, I can actually use these buttons as well to switch between what I'm doing, and it makes it a little bit easier. I obviously have a Chrome, o Chrome Web Store shortcut, because I do like exploring the new apps and various extensions you can get. There's so much available, I just like perusing it from time to time, because you never know what you might miss. For example, there's apparently a life hacker pack. I can guarantee most of whatever is in here is going to be good stuff because I I like what life hacker suggests most of the time and lo and behold they have some pretty good suggestions. Imagine that. Then of course basic things like a ca calculator which does open in its own window which is pretty nice just to have and then I can do math. Woo. I do use calculator from time to time. Don't judge me. You have the camera tool for the webcam. It doesn't take video though. That's something that's bugged me and I don't, hi, you can see me right here on the webcam. I'm looking up at my monitor where this is actually displayed. It doesn't take video. So you can, if you go to YouTube here and let me open up my video manager. And then if you go to upload, you can actually use YouTube's little webcam capture to record video on this. And that's how I did in one of my vlogs using my webcam was I actually started using, hello, there we go, I started using YouTube's webcam app. Now it only does 360p, whereas I'm pretty sure this webcam is technically capable of 720p, but you have it here nonetheless. Go ahead and close that, I don't want it. So I do have the camera app just for taking pictures. Um, sometimes my fiance and I take pictures together or I'll take pictures of like documents to send someone real quick or something. Google Chrome does have a file manager built in, which is actually pretty useful, especially for navigating through the drive. I know most people you integrate or interact with Google Drive on their web browser, but on, even on my main desktop, I use the desktop client for Google Drive and keep everything synced locally. And to me, it's just a lot easier to go through and manage like actual files than the web browser. So that's what I prefer. 
Google Keep is my to-do list. It always puts it in the wrong spot. It's my little like notepad to-do list, things like that. I'm gonna close it before it shows you something it shouldn't. It's very, very useful. I use it on most computers, even the computers I use at school when I'm not using my laptop. And it just sits on a random sidebar of a monitor and you can add to-do lists and random notes and bookmarklets to yourself. I'm sure there are better tools, but I experimented with Google Keep and never quite went back to anything else after that. On the right, I do have Google Hangouts, which I do use from time to time. Everybody does at some point, probably. And then Spotify, music for every moment. I do use Spotify every once in a while. It's nice when I'm working in the library to just have some music to listen to. Just going over some brief things that I do have installed as Chrome extensions and things like that that I use on here. There's a cloud converter, which will kind of convert anything to Google Docs formats. DocuSign I've used on Once in a Blue Moon. Webcam Toys, another webcam app that lets you like add goofy filters and things like that. Something I play around with with my little sister from time to time because she is one of those kids who loves taking selfies. And load it up here. Oh, hello. But then, oh no, where's my head? There's two of me. Stupid things like that. It's a stupid little toy, but it, it can be fun when you're with a kid who likes taking selfies. And then we have Google Maps, obviously. Googleator, I think, is an emulator. I haven't actually tried it yet. Just some basic, like, Google Docs extension for uh, functionality things. HTML viewer, CSS editor, Python editor, things like that. Coloring pages I print out for my sister. JavaScript editor, drive template creator, things like that. Dropbox and OneDrive shortcuts so I can interact between Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. All on my Chromebook like I do on my desktops. And then a shortcut to Instagram is already there. A goofy Crash Bandicoot game. And that's pretty much it that I use. So this has been what's on my Chromebook. And I use quite a lot, although nothing too crazy since it all is technically Chrome extensions. And if we pull up my extensions list here, you'll see what I use. I use Adblock, but I have it disabled on my site, the Geek website, YouTube, a few other various websites, Better Twitch TV, uh... Oh, I do use a screenshot extension for my Chromebook since I can't use my custom Gyazo remote desktop so I can control other computers from my Chromebook. I have a little Facebook Messenger app, so all I gotta do is click that and it opens Facebook Messenger. I've not found one that actually functions as an app itself and can go down here, which is frustrating. It is still an extension, but it's there. Usual Google Docs, Google Play, Google Plus, Google Hangouts, Freedom's Heartbeat app, Hoot, the Hootlet for Hootsuite. I do use Clout, although I had to keep the extension disabled because it keeps yelling at me. Push Bullet is a useful extension. It actually shows a lot of my phone notifications on my computer, which allows me to see when I get a text or a call from my computer, which is pretty handy. Uh, user Script Manager, Text Editor, Viral Video Spy gives you some information about videos below them. Web of Trust is useful for knowing when you're going to a bad website, and then... That is what's on my Chromebook. I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a thumbs down if you disliked it. Leave me a comment if you have a specific reason that you want to tell me why you felt that way. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out sponsor links, check out support links, etc. Subscribe, and I will catch you all in a future video. Bye bye Just going over some brief, brief, push, push, blah, blah, blah.